Many times as we approach Bible study, we already have a particular passage in mind that we want to investigate, and we simply want to know what do the books in our library have to say about this passage. Well, you guessed it, Logos is here to help with that type of research, and we can initiate a passage study with all sorts of ways in Logos, but in this tutorial, I'm simply going to show you one way. We're going to make use of a predefined layout and the command box. So notice on the toolbar we have the command box as I said some people refer to it as the go box I want you to click in the box and type Luke 4 1 through 4 don't press the enter key just type the passage Luke 4 1 through 4 and notice we have a drop down list the reason I wanted you to hesitate is because you want to survey the list to see exactly which task you want. And these line items are going to change positions based on what we have previously clicked on. But I want you to look in the list and find the line item, open passage study layout to Luke 4, 1 through 4. Go ahead and click on that. We give Logos just a moment and it's opening for us a predefined layout coming from the developers of our software and it's going to help us study a passage now a quick tour here on the left we have something called the passage guide in the upper middle we have our first three prioritized Bibles you'll see for me Lexham English New American Standard ESVs yours are going to differ in the lower middle we have our preferred commentary for me the Bible knowledge and then on the far right we have the information tool which I will show you a bit about in just a moment okay I want us to pay particular attention to the passage guide on the left Logos provides us with numerous guides in our software and I said previously think of these guides as research assistants who are going to search the books in our library and bring us back a lot of information so the passage guide searching tons of resources in our library and linking us to a lot of information about Luke 4 1 through 4 so let's just quickly survey the passage guide now my passage guide probably is going to look a little bit different than yours but please notice on my screen I've got a section called your content commentaries journals and then on down the list each one of these sections is a separate search and notice that my sections are for the most part collapsed but my commentary section is open when a section is open the search is running when a section is collapsed the search is paused now probably all of your sections are open so let me show you a power user trick I want you to right click on any section title bar right click on a section title bar and then on the menu select collapse all now you have all the sections collapsed all the searches paused so it will speed things up just a bit then you go through here and you simply click on a section that you want now the most popular section in the passage guide is close to the top it's called commentaries go ahead and click on that and here you will see your Luke 4 1 through 4 commentaries now our preferred one is already open you can click on a different commentary and notice it joins your preferred commentary in the lower middle so you could easily go through your commentaries clicking on each link opening tons of commentaries getting a lot of information here I want you to click on the commentary section title bar and collapse that I want you to go to parallel passages the parallel passages section is searching our Bible harmonies so Luke 4 is dealing with Jesus being tempted by Satan well other gospel writers talk about this event in the life of our Lord and so you can click on one of these Bible harmonies so I'm going to click on records of the life of Jesus withdrawal of Jesus to the wilderness and that harmony opens so we can see the parallel passages pretty cool alright go ahead and collapse parallel passages I want you to drop down to important passages here are cross references specifically related to our passage and so you can go through here clicking on these links and you can get a fuller picture from the totality of scripture related to this event I'll collapse important passages 
The atlas is self-explanatory. It's going to link you to maps related to your passage. I'll collapse that. And then look at biblical places, people, things, events. So any people, places, things, events mentioned in our passage will be listed here. For example, I'm going to click on biblical things here, and you will notice that Logos mentions a rock. Logos mentions bread because Satan is telling Jesus, hey, turn these stones into bread here. And so these are things here. If you click on one of these, then the fact book is going to open. So people, places, things, events will list for you links back to the fact book so you can study that specific subject. Go ahead and collapse biblical things. And then again, as I said, most of these sections are self-explanatory. Come on down to biblical theology, systematic theologies. They will open up our theology books to information about that particular passage. So I'm going to stop here as it relates to the passage guide. I hope you see why I call this a research assistant. The passage guide is just going into our library, pulling tons of resources off the shelves and organizing information right here in the passage guide. You are going to be like a kid in a candy store going through the passage guide here, finding information related to the passage under study. Now, I want you to come back to the upper middle. You have your Bibles here. You can click on a different Bible tab and that will pull that Bible to the forefront. Now, what about the information panel over here on the right. So I want you to notice that you can rest your cursor on a word in the text. So I'm going to rest my cursor on the word returned in the text and you will see the information pane populate. I'm going to move here and I'm going to rest the cursor on the word tempted and you will see a lot of information related to that word again the information pane pretty self-explanatory the translation section is showing you how the underlying Hebrew or Greek word is being translated in your other Bibles the word info is giving you a lot of information on the underlying Hebrew or Greek word and notice all we're doing is resting the cursor on a word so I'm going to rest my cursor on the word completed there in verse number two and notice in the translation section some of the Bibles translate this ended some were over and the like so a lot of information related to our passage here and keep in mind all we did was type our Bible reference in the command box find that layout in the drop-down list click on it and we're off to the races so I encourage you Explore the passage guide and then move through your Bible, resting your cursor on different words and the info panel on the right will populate with a lot of information about the underlying Hebrew or Greek word.